Hello, uh, how are you? Um, this is Tony's Talks continued and we're just looking at catchy little phrases that uh, call on us when we're going about our life as different from uh, very strong sermonising advice and so on. These are little things that click in. Uh, let's just examine a few and please, if any comes to your mind, it's a pity we can't be interactive, if any comes to your mind just write them at the bottom of this video. Um, this one that puzzles me a little bit, it says, uh, eaten bread is soon forgotten. Now, does that mean that if you buy a loaf, you're really hungry and uh, you're starving and you eat something, all your feelings and lust for food is, is all gone? If somebody can give me an interpretation of this, uh, well and good. Uh, and very simple is uh, no pain, no gain. And I look around and I see the farmers working so hard, by golly they work hard and uh, they work hard and they get the rewards we presume but uh, it's just a little lesson to say it's hard work, really hard work that gets the results and no wishful thinking will bring success but it must put your head down and work for it. Now I really like this. This is a memorial card belonging to my sister-in-law for when her mother died and uh, there may be some, yes there is, some holy prayers on it and so on and some philosophical thinking but what she put in the middle here was four little phrases, common phrases that we all know that her mother carried with her and uh, the, her daughter remembers those because it came from a mother and it meant something to a mother. There's meaning in these phrases. Let's take a quick look at them. You know these. There's no use in crying over spilt milk. If we get that expression straight away we can stop this anger or just annoyance at something suddenly going crashing. Hmm. Never leave for tomorrow what you can do for today. Uh, very much um, a hard working person at home and uh, this sort of, oh, I'll do it tomorrow, I'll do it tomorrow, but don't you get down and do it. Just a reminder of generally good living. If a thing's worth doing, it's worth doing well. <laughs> Coming from a mother's heart and uh, there's no half jobs at home. You can't leave children half dressed or uh, you can't leave a meal half done or, or poorly done. It's got to be done thoroughly for everybody to be happy. And this one is uh, one I've never heard of before. It's as natural to die as it is to be born. Nora Rose Cohen from Sligo. Um, I've started going round now and if I can find something in reading I'll take that and uh, remember it or they come up so spontaneously for people, from people that it's easy to click into them and what a surprise at how many there are around. So this is um, from Roger in Carrigline, this is from when we were talking in Weatherspoons, and he said to me uh, you can take a man from the bog but you can't take the bog from the man <laughs> and uh, if you want to spell this out do so does it mean that as we uh, move into the world you take your background with you or is there something demeaning in this that uh, uh, a man from the bog is, is, a, is of a poor status and he'd never get away from that poor status, which is a rather harsh judgment. So there could be several interpretations of any of these. Uh, I like this one, you know it as well I'd say. 
the apple never falls from the tree and it's for me it's where there's a person maybe a young person and maybe he's got some bad habits or good habits and uh, it's coming from his stock his family and the apple never falls far from the tree is the same blood as his father uh, same actions of his father or mother uh, it's uh, good or bad the apple never falls from the tree and uh, to finish off this is quite short I'm almost looking for some more is uh, this one and it's about public speaking maybe Toastmasters and it said fear is a thief and I think people some people can be shy nervous introverted maybe uh, and this is what they say if you may be giving a public speech and uh, you're full of fear and uh, you, you're very nervous well that fear can take things away take your courage away take uh, your words away and block your mind <laughs> I suppose there's only way, one way to overcome this is to get used to it and just do it more often and more often <laughs> which is almost like what I'm trying to do now so do uh, come in and say a phrase even if it's a minute and uh, we might set up some uh, Facebook page where we can show these a bit more easily somewhere where they speak so for now pick up your phrases learn from them and enjoy them because it's also part of our language and it's to be enjoyed. Good luck and take care from Tony.